that has marked both time and eternity. They would have left that meeting thinking that these men are drunk. Or have you, have you not heard it before? There is a way you will pray. Some people saw us. One day I checked what the because I don't check because many of them online they don't know they don't know the labor on ground so they can sit comfortably where they are and say this is not of God this one is like this you don't know labor they, they sit one place and, and sit with, with their mouth with their drink and analyze something in their flesh and say this one is not of God he said prayer is not like this somebody that has not prayed for 30 minutes at a stretch in his life He's telling you how prayer should be. From where did you get your authority? In the scripture, according to scripture, men don't speak because they want to speak. They speak because there is authority back in their utterance. There is a lot of spiritual history. And spiritual history is the foundation, the backbone of authority in the kingdom. What is spiritual history? It is the dealings that you have with the Holy Ghost as you journey in obedience to him. So many times the Holy Ghost has woken you in the night. One hour for 21 days and you wake up and you tell men that in the night fire comes on my head when I pray. And somebody tell you, what if I pray in the day, won't fire come on my Do you argue with such a person? He doesn't have his spiritual history backing his argument. And such men, there is no authority behind their words. So for we to get authority, we have to join with the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said, as many as are led by the Spirit, they are what? the sons of God. Such men have history with God. And when they come outside and they say, in the name of Jesus, Jesus will know that this man knew me in the secret. Because you have history with Jesus in the secret, when you come out in the open, he backs you up. That is the secret of kingdom authority. Men that have journeyed with God in the secret, when they come out in the open, God will say, I will not be ashamed because in the secret I put my name upon you. When you come outside, when you come out, it's not you that is coming, it is the embodiment of encounters, experiences that you had with me. And then when you come, it is the honors is on heaven to defend the things that they had with you. So when the day of Pentecost came, a man have to arise and his name is Peter. And the oil, the grace that came upon his life is called the grace of the interpreter. There, there are others, there are baptizer, baptizer graces. This man, if God wants to do something in a generation, he raises such a man and embodies what he wants to do in that man and makes men touch him. The touching of that man is the touching of what that what God wants to do in a generation. So maybe maybe it's prayer and God embodies it. Anybody that touches the person baptizes you into it. It's a baptizer grace. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It doesn't matter whether you have prayed 30 minutes in your life or once you step into the presence, you don't you won't even know when you have prayed for five hours. Reduce the volume. It is the volume. I was in Brazil and a man met me after ministering there. The man said that when I prayed for him, he went back. He said, What did I do to him? I said, well, I didn't do anything to you. So, what did I do to him? I said, What is it? He said, He went back and he has been praying six, minimum of six hours every night for the past 21 days. You think everything is normal. Keep laboring in your strength. When you are ready to arrive in the plane where the Holy Ghost helps men to pray, we will know because then you will cry, Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. Men don't pray for six hours any time of the day because they can. They do so because a spirit helps them. We pray, yet not we that pray. The Holy Ghost prays. And we have arrived in a plane in God where we saw prayer. And we saw that it's a spirit that is walking in the wheels of prayer. You can see men making the motions, but it's the Holy Ghost that is that is making the motions inside. Six hours, a man that cannot pray before, and you think it's normal. Many years ago, I went for a conference in Lagos, my prayer conference. And when we finished, a young man met me and he said, I should pray for him. His prayer life, his prayer life is dead. I said, come here. He came. I hugged him. He went back and prayed for 10 hours. On his own. Not in general prayer meeting. That 
that thing is called the baptizer grace it takes ordinary men men that struggle in certain key things of destiny and then in a moment they are transported from being weak men that can't pray that is looking for help waiting for intervention suddenly they arrive back home where they came from and your mother that is begging you to go to church do the things of god we now see you in the night you started by 11. they will put here in the window to know what is happening maybe after today you will stop one hour past two past three past four by 3 a.m you say because i will go to school let me just sleep a little tomorrow you started again next tomorrow you started again after one week they will say what happened to my child <laughs> i don't want to be normal i don't want to be normal people that that are cold like chilled ice water they will come and say all of us are brethren we are together we are one and you agree that you are one you are one with them because you are cold too only cold people go together it's only men on fire that move together it's either i set you on fire or we can't walk together